just 24 hours ago, users on one of the country's largest mobile networks were left unable to make even basic calls or send texts for half a day. Is it the end of the world? And apparently the whole country doesn't have service. Like, what's going on? I want to talk to the CEO. I'm so dang gone sick of y'all. AT&T now saying they believe the 12-hour issue, quote, was caused by the application and execution of an incorrect process used as we were expanding our network, not a cyber attack. The company added it is further investigating the matter. Several government agencies said they're taking a look, too, including Homeland Security, the Federal Communications Commission, and the FBI. Experts say most of the time, outages aren't malicious. The FBI is going to be looking for any sort of criminal activity. However, 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, technical outages of this nature, whether it's with a power company, a telecommunications company, or even your bank, tend to be of a technical operational network. Downdetector.com showed issues beginning Thursday at 4 a.m. Hours later, the count on reported problems had surged to over 70,000 as users tried to troubleshoot their phones. That's the AT&T line that says emergency calls only and, uh, and there's no service. Emergency services advising people to use landlines or even call boxes as workarounds. Around 3 p.m. Thursday, AT&T announced it had restored wireless service to all of its affected customers. That was too late for Conchinia Fowler in Greenville, South Carolina, who had no choice but to close her restaurant, Vegan House Shack, for the day. Thursday is a big day for me. I lost a lot of money. She uses AT&T to take the 20% of orders that come by phone and also uses a hotspot to process the card terminal she needs to process sales. Now Fowler says she's done. Are you thinking this is crazy enough I might switch? Oh, it's definitely a switch. Switch is definitely going to take place. And a tip for those of you whose phones were stuck on SOS mode. When that happens, you can make an emergency call and ping your location to emergency services. On iPhones, they can also contact a loved one or family member designated as an emergency contact, which you have to set up. It's a good reminder if that situation from yesterday ever happens again, guys. Okay. All right, Brian, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.